Hey gang, welcome back to Ski Play Live TV. I just got back from the Outdoor Retailer Show. Gotta be honest, um, not impressed. They combined the Outdoor Retailer Show and the Ski Show, two standalones that had hundreds of exhibitors and thousands of people that attend, and they put them all together in one place for the same amount of time, four days. And it was just a mess. That was my impression of the event. I mean, the Outdoor Retailer Show is for um, manufacturers to meet with retailers and make orders for outdoor gear and clothing for next year, winter of next year. And then the SIA, the Ski Show, is all stuff that you would find in a resort, which is hard goods, skis, boots, bindings, poles, uh, snowboards and snowboarding gear, and then soft goods, which would be clothing. And in the past, you would have all of the hard goods stuff in one section of the convention center, and then soft goods in another, and then snowboarding stuff in a whole other section. And then within that, they would also kind of divide it out by category. So the expensive high-end resort stuff like Juice or Bogner um, would be in its own little section too, and then they'd get a little more mainstream. And then they had another section that would be kind of accessories and peripheral stuff for skiing. So now that they've combined both shows, it was just stuff everywhere. You'd walk down, you'd see backpacks, then helmets, then sunglasses, then shoes. Like, not ski boots, but just shoes. And then ski boots, and then bindings. And it was just everywhere, all over the place. And they put it on two levels. And this is at the Colorado Convention Center. The Outdoor Retailer Show used to be in Salt Lake City until this past summer. And so now they're in Denver, and the Ski Show used to be in Las Vegas, and it's been in Denver for the past, I think, five years. And so now they're both under one convention center, and I hated it. I hated it. I love seeing the brands. I love going to these shows, but having it be in Denver... First of all, I drove, so instead of a half an hour down to Salt Lake, it's seven and a half hours um, to Denver. And then I could find no parking at all. It was great to see my friends. Uh, I stayed with my friend Stella, who lives in Arvada, outside of Denver. But driving in was crazy. I would just drive around and around, and all the streets in downtown Denver are basically one-way streets going in either direction. And I was so confused. In fact, I found myself going the wrong way on a one-way street once this past week. I, and I just, I was so frustrated, and I'm so bummed at the politics and the nature of all of this, but my prediction is um, not too far down the, the line, all these shows are gone, and people are just going to, the vendors are going to stop attending and stop paying, and they're just going to go to smaller regional shows where they can show everything, and then possibly the ISPO show in Munich would be the place to gather with all of the manufacturers. And so we'll see what happens. We'll see if I'm some kind of psychic.